In this clip, I show you how to difference a fir from a spruce. So here we have a spruce and a fir growing next to each other. Let's get closer and figure out which one is which. Let's start with the color. You can tell the, the fur is greener and the spruce has kind of a bluish color. Let's look at the needles. The needles of the fur are flat, so you cannot roll them in between your fingers. As opposite, the needles of the spruce are round, so you see how I can roll them. Then, if you look at the branch of the fur, you can tell that the needles, they grow on each side, okay? So there's no needles on top and no, needle, no needles below. It's almost like the branch is flat, okay? The spruce needles, they grow all around the branch. So it's more round when you look at it this way. Now let's look at the shape of the trees. You have the spruce here. And then if I go that way, you have the fur. You see the fur is like a perfect cone, really pointy. And here you have the spruce. Can you tell the difference? Now we have the bark of the fir tree with the iconic bubbles that you can pop. Watch out if you do this because the sap is really sticky, but you can use it to treat a sore throat if you have a cold. It's pretty tasty. This one is the bark of the spruce. It's a lot tougher in appearance. You also don't have the, the bubbles of the fur. When it gets older, you, uh, you can peel it off like uh, cornflakes. Here you have uh, some dried sap. Now you can chew it if you want as a chewing gum. It's good for your teeth. It's antibacterial. Just like that. Uh, this one is not the, the chewiest. A little dry. My grandmother used to chew it when she walked in the forest. If you want some more tips on how to recognize trees, please like and subscribe.